My name is Louise Wilkinson and I'm Professor of Medieval History at Canterbury Christ Church University. Magna Carta, or the Great Charter as it's known in English, is one of our most famous historical documents. It is regarded as the basis of a British constitutional tradition which sees rulers and governments themselves subjected to the full rigours of the law. And this is quite a remarkable achievement for a document that originated as a peace treaty between an unpopular medieval king and his barons. When it was negotiated at Runnymede in 1215, Magna Carta was intended to curb the worst abuses of English royal government as it operated under King John and his predecessors. Its 63 clauses were intended to tackle a whole variety of issues and in their detail they addressed the interests of a wide range of social groups including women, children, churchmen, knights, free peasants and merchants. So Magna Carta was by no means an exclusively baronial document and this is what makes it so intriguing and exciting to study today.